or looky looky, it's Mike, the man who created the YouTube video sensation called Patty Laplace Safe. Gotta give him credit because he got me started on all this and well, as you know, you've seen them. Crazy videos from this crazy old man gluing down the eyebrows like we're supposed to. Get that all smoothed down, make it perfect. Or you begin to have agey hands. Mm, don't get any closer. I can see the hairs in your nose. Okay, so now we're putting powder over the glue. Okay, there's got to be a reason for this. I guess we'll find out sooner or later. Clown white. Mm -hmm. Make the kabuki look to start off. Atta girl. And then we put a little cream beige over the top of that. Using a sponge to melt it all together. Rub it in, rub it in, rub it in. Okay, there you go. Get all the way around the cheekbone, high up on the temple there. I'll leave a little open area for darker color, obviously. Go down over the eyebrow, yep, into the nose. Very good. Add more clown white. Okay, good. Now we're putting white on the chin. What the hell for? Okay, we'll find out. Now we're using that orange that Ellen DeGeneres doesn't like. But as you'll notice, in this bathroom, it doesn't look orange because the walls are not in a golden color. So you can see that it's actually a beige color. Very good. Blend it on up into that white. There you go. Go over the lip. Very good. Make a subtle line difference. And cover your neck. Very good. Put your temples. Had a girl. Yes, ma'am. Pam, beat it in. Cook it on. Oh, dark on the nose. Oh, now this time you're going up into the brow. What are you doing, Patty? You crazy whore. What are you doing? Okay, that's dark. Are you sure? Okay, use the dark side of the sponge. Blend it in. Okay, I'm with you. I see that. Oh, wow. That gives it a sunken eye look. Okay, I like it. I like it. So far, so good. Okay. Powder it to death. You gotta put that powder in there to make it look smooth and soft. Now, I noticed you went over the dark of the nose. Even in the okay, the sunken eye look, and you cut okay, got it. So if you put white on your chin, like you do your cheeks and your forehead, you make that come out a little further to make it look like it's a longer chin. Okay, I could buy this, but I don't notice the blending yet some difference here. You look like a striped kabuki warrior, dancer, something, something. But I want to see something pretty. Okay. Red on the eyelid. I'm not sure of what you're doing here, but okay. Okay, you're beginning to create the shadow of that idea. Queen, do you know what you're doing? Look at my wrinkly hand. I'm scared to death of it. Okay, so you put some red in like a crescent moon design? Okay, I'm going to try to figure this out. We'll see what happens. 
so you're gonna have red eyes? Queen, you don't want to go to the bar looking like that. No, 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 no. They will kick you off the stage. Oh, that looks like a gold. Oh! So the red makes the gold have an intense look. I think that makes sense. Alrighty, girlfriend. Now you're going to fade the edges by using gold. Okay. You know, gold is royalty, so that makes sense. Oh, oh that ain't gold. You got some dark shadows going on up in there. I like it, I like it, I like it. Now you're using black. And you are sharpening your pencil again. You must have broke the lid. Okay. Now there we go. And you put even and you're deepening the bottom corner. I notice that you're going much wider than normal. Okay, but you're not going way out. Okay, so you're keeping everything close inside. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what is this? Black. Okay, you're putting black over the black. Oh, black powder to set the cream pencil. Very smart. Makes it much more intense. See, if you put black shadow over black pencil, it sticks. There you go. There you go. Dust off the rib residue. Yes. Oh, contra powder. Way to go, horn. Now, blending our way up in the hairline. Okay, that's good. Creating the cheeks. Good. I notice you're staying away from the white highlight color. Okay. You're not going to go up into that? I guess there's a reason. You're going to have big cheeks. Okay, now this is like using burgundy again. You like using that burgundy color, don't you? Okay. It looks good. Now you're using a brown. Okay. Okay, I see the brown. It works. It works. I'm worried that you're going to have a striped look, girl. Okay, now you're using burgundy. Okay. Those racing stripes. What are you doing? It's Kabuki. Oh. Oh, I like the pink. Oh, no. oh, oh. It's gotten rid of that stripe look. Thank you very much. Because I was about to beat the soup out of you. This needs to be smoother. Okay. Thank you. Okay, yes ma'am, more white powder to soften that. Look, okay, this is good. You always go over it with your finishing powder so that it blends the colors together a little bit better. Okay, and I like how you did the nose. You give it a nice little shade. Oh, a nice copper color. Oh, on the actual eyelid. Okay, alrighty. This is looking kind of different. I don't believe you've ever painted like this before, Patty Laplace. This is a little more intense. We like it. That's a little peach on the outside. I think you're fine falling in love with that peach. There you go. Okay, that looks good. Spreading it out. Spread the copper up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I see what's happening now. Makes that chin more prominent. Very good. Very clever. I've never seen you do, do this before. If you keep it up, you might teach people a few things. Now it's fading away. I like it. Okay, Sydney, so you're using the sponge again. 
to give it a little bit more of a muted okay oh girl when you back up it looks good yeah I think you should back up a little more often you get too close to the camera and scare people oh ooh. Ooh. okay alrighty shading is looking better Eyebrow time! We're all, those are crooked. I hope you fix it. Yeah, that left eyebrow is a little off. 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 Get it right. Come on. Get up in there and fix that. A little bit better. Okay, I'll buy it now. It's centered. Very good. Gold. More gold. Okay. Oh. I kind of like this. Brown. Okay, to darken the edges. Okay, that's good. Right. Keep that up. But don't cover the copper. Just go between the copper and the gold with a little bit of brown. Yes, ma'am, Pam. Sweet baby Jesus in a crock pot. You're doing this so fast I can't keep up. I'm going to have to stop the video and then practice on my own face and see if I can get it right. Oh, goodness. When you back up, girl, you look like you've got big cheeks. I like that. Okay, now that's the black ink marker for eyeliner. I like that thing. That's so nice. It really intensifies that black, doesn't it? Ooh, wait. Just like Katie said, you can't put too much black on. You need more black in your mouth, Patty. Lip time. Now, this is a wine color very dark brown wine red so mm, real intense but it looks good okay connect those corners that a go and then you deepen those corners with the burnt with the pencil you color in the corner mm -hmm, very good that makes the lips look bigger. I think you do pretty lips, girl. Gotta make those cocks up the lips, make them special. And then you use the red, but don't cover the original outline color. Okay, very good. Okay, those are good. There's that Marilyn Monroe beauty mark. I'm gonna tell you, you don't look like her, but it's nice that you put that beauty mark on as a memory of her. Everybody should think about both Marilyn Monroe. That woman was fabulous. Oh, ooh. Mascara before putting on the eyelashes. Okay, you notice the difference between those two eyelashes. The first pair of eyelashes that I put away have been trimmed because I use those for cut crease. But when I do a smoke eye, I go ahead and use the whole window shade. I use the whole cotton picking thing, no trimming. Because it matches the shape of the smoke. Yeah. That looks good, Patty. I'll put those on pretty quick this time. Go for those bottom lashes. Yep. You know, it never fails. One eyelash doesn't want to work. You can keep working with it, but it just don't want to work. There you go. I think you got it that time. I'm going to do the other one. Uh huh. Looking pretty smooth. Oh, it didn't want to stay on, did it? There you go. Well, this time it was the left eye that was giving you trouble. You know, Patty, I kind of like this look.
No. You look ready for the runway. Oh, now this is the golden color of gloss. Smart choice. Gotta have those really luscious, shiny, cocksucking lips. Okay, now there you go. Put a little brown on the bottom. Smoke it down. We use lots of brown colors. Browns and everything. There's the finished look. Look, it's Patty little place safe. All glammed out and looking lovely. I guess you'll leave a nasty comment. That's okay. But whatever you do, thumb up my video. Have a great life. Thank you.